Today we are going to discuss the Bright Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer a genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Bright Coat of Arms to discuss Sable a Fess Argent between three Escallops or Crest, a dragon's head, ghouls, vomiting, flames of fire, proper, collared, and lined, or this coat of arms and crest was granted in 1615 to Thomas Bright of Barry St. Edmund and Robert Bright of Nether Hall, both in Suffolk, England, sons of Thomas Bright, born 1537, and his wife, Margaret Payton. It was also born by Henry Bright, born 1602 of Watertown, and he was the grandson of Thomas Bright. Next, coat of arms of the Brights of Brockberry and Colwall and Hereford and Ham Green, Green and Somerset. Family descended from Reverend Henry Bright of Brockberry, Canon of Worcester in 1610. He was the grandson of Nathaniel Bright of Worcester who was born in 1493. Later from this lineage was Richard Bright of Ham Green, born 1754, son of Henry Bright of Welland Court, the mayor of Bristol, and grandson of Robert Bright of Brockberry, born 1664. We have the coat of arms and crest of Lowbridge Bright, son of Robert Bright, grandson of Henry Bright of Broxbury in Hereford and the city of Bristol. Confirmation of a grant in the year 1779, that's when it was granted to him. And it was also granted to the descendants of his grandfather. Now, it was also born by General Sir Robert Bright. Uh, he was of Normandy Park. He was born in 1823, the second son of Robert Bright of Bristol, who was born in 1795. Next we have Azure three mullets pierced and a chief indented or crest eight MI Griffin holding in his dexter claw a mullet sable. Now the note says it was from County Cheshire. Wasn't able to find who the armager was. If you know, please let us know in the comments. But I did find that it is very similar to the arms and crest of Sir Joseph Bright, a knight bachelor in the year 1906, mayor of Nottingham in 1894, 1895, and 1904, the son of Joseph Bright, born 1819, and his wife Anne Kinders. Next we have the arms and crest of Sir John Bright of Carbrook in Yorkshire, England, born 1619. He was commander of parliamentary forces during the English Civil War and the only surviving son of Stephen Bright, Esquire of Carbrook, Lord of the Manor of Ecclesall, and his wife Joan Westby. He was awarded the Bright Baronetcy of Carbrook and Badsworth in the year 1660. Same coat of arms with the, oops, it's a different crest. This is for John Bright of Banner Cross, son of Robert Bright, grandson of John Bright of Banner Cross, and the great-grandson of John Bright of Horlow Hall, and then further back to John Bright of Horlow, who was born around the year 1410. So Bright of Banner Cross. And here we see Banner Cross Hall. Another coat of arms for Sir Charles Tilston Bright of the Cedars. Harrow Weald in Middlesex, England. He was knighted in 1858 for his great scientific service in laying down the electric cable between Valentina and Newfoundland. He was the youngest son of Brailsford Bright, Esquire of London, nephew of John Bright, medical doctor of Manchester Square and Overton Hall in County Derby. The arms itself is that of Bright of Claybrook in Northumberland. And the meaning assigned is that the parted shield represents morning and evening, and each hath its bright star. Another one from Ireland featuring a mort's head in the crest. 
I wasn't able to find the armature on this. There are uh, one possibility is Thomas Bright, who died in 1636 of Londonderry, a mariner, and his widow Margaret Bright, who died in 1659. Coat of arms granted in 1641 to Stephen Bright of Carbrook in County Yorkshire. And another found impaled with the coat of arms of the Lister family for Martha Lister, wife of William Lister, who was the daughter of Stephen Bright. And next we have Sable and Abedin between three mullets Argent, as many cross crosslets Fitchy of the field. Gertrude Bright, born around the year 1555, was daughter of Thomas Bright of London. She married Nicholas Style, son of the Sheriff of London. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coagb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.